Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel and this time out we're going to take a look at another one of the Fat Channel XT uh, EQ plugins, uh, part of the PreSonus Studio One plugin package. This is the Vintage EQ, which is a British style uh, three band EQ. We're going to take a listen to this on some drums, maybe on some guitar, maybe on a master bus and some vocals and get a chance uh, for you guys to hear what it sounds like. But before we do that, if you like what you see in this video, hit that subscribe button and, and please share it with others. Also go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and sign up for your five free mixing training courses, absolutely free. Just hit the orange button on the homepage. All the information is there you'll see it. It's a great way to uh, practice your mixing chops worth about $110, absolutely free to you. Um, and also make sure you go over to presonus.com and go into the presonus shop and check out all the plugins uh, that we're going to be talking about in this video, plus all the other plugin reviews I've done with the Fat Channel XT that is on my YouTube channel under the playlist, presonus Fat Channel XT playlist. You'll see a whole host of videos that we listen to all of the plugins um, and you can check those out on presonus.com as well. So now let's jump on into Studio One. And this is the Vintage EQ. Again, it's a British style uh, EQ uh, 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 emulation, a three band EQ, real simple to use, very, very musical, um, and something that will add, add a lot of character to some of the tracks we're going to listen to. Now, this particular EQ happens to be one of the free EQs that come with the Fat Channel. This is not part of the paid package like some of the other videos that I've looked at in the and recently, this one, um, along with the uh, Passive EQ, uh, comes as part of the package here. So if you have Studio One and you have the latest version with the Fat Channel, you'll have this EQ in there, okay? So let's uh, let's walk through the plugin quickly and then we'll listen to it on a master bus. So it's a real simple plugin to use. We have an on and off switch right here, a little red toggle switch. Then we have our low uh, frequency shelf frequency, plus or minus 18 dB, and we can, and they're at stepped frequencies, 35 hertz, 60 hertz, 110 and 220. Okay, then we have our low mid frequency, which is more of a peak style, uh, a peak uh, Q, plus or minus 18 dB at 360, 700 or 1.5K. Then we have our high mid frequencies at 3.2K, 4.8 and 7.2. And then we have our high shelf that corresponds with the high frequencies here. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, that's just pretty straightforward, really simple to use, adds a lot of character uh, to, to our track. So let's listen to this on a master bus. So this is a, a completely raw, uh, session, no plugins at all, except on the buses where we're going to be demonstrating the vintage EQ here. This is a funk track by the band Kung Fu, and the name of the song is Daddy D. Search them out on Google. Great band, great funk track, recorded really well, and we're going to listen. So we're listening to the master bus here. This is just a static mix. It's nothing perfect, um, and we're going to dial in some sounds here on the uh, on the vintage EQ and see if we can just with, with this one instance of the EQ, what can we do to a completely raw track? How much better can we get it to sound from an EQ perspective? Well, let's find out. Here we go. Before. So sweet. Daddy G's gonna ring you up. Daddy G's gonna send you down. Daddy G's gonna ring you up. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, so what a world of difference there. So, what I did basically here is at 60 hertz, I bumped it up almost 5 dB. Um, at 360 hertz, I took out almost 6 dB to get rid of some of that real mid-range buildup. Again, remember, this is on the master bus with no other processing on any of the tracks. And then uh, a high mid-frequency at about almost 5K, 4.8K added 5 dB. And you can hear how we get rid of a lot of the muddiness is gone. Um, we get a little bit more presence, a little bit more spark, and a little bit of thump on that kick drum and that bass guitar there. Um, and again, it sounds very musical. And what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and I'll just push up, you know, the the each one of the bands here all the way up 18 dB. Uh, or excuse me, 16 dB, and then all the way down, so you can just kind of hear the sweep of how how it sounds. So. Daddy 
Okay, so that's on a master bus. Adds a lot of character to it. Sounds very musical, not harsh at all. Even when you turn that bass up all the way 16 dB, it's not muddy. It's nice and tight. Really, really nice. It has a lot, a lot of character to it. So we're going to shut this off now. And now we're just going to listen to it on a drum bus, okay? We're just going to listen to drums here just so we can get a feel. That was on the master bus. So let's listen to just our drum, our drum section here. Okay, let's see what we can do to these drums. Okay, let's put a little at 60. Before, after. It's before, after. There we go. So, we have uh, 60 hertz, about 60 dB of a bump here to bring in a little more of the kick drum. We uh, took out some mid-range there at 360, at two, about almost 3 dB, and then we added a, a shelf here uh, at about uh, 4 dB here at 4.8 K, and you know brightens up those drums quite a bit. So let's uh, let's listen to this now, maybe on some uh, let's listen to it onto some electric guitars here, some clean, funky electric guitar. <laughs> Before, after. Before, after. Okay, so again, very musical, not harsh at all, very smooth sounding. Um, we got a little bit, we took out everything at um, 16 dB, everything at 110 hertz, rolled off that real low end, although it didn't sound like there was a whole lot of information there. It was probably EQ'd prior to recording or at the recording stage. Um, again, 700 hertz took out about 2 dB, like just a little bit of mid range out, and then we boosted almost 5K, about 4 dB. And that's what we have for electric guitars. Sounds great. Now let's listen to, let's say, uh, we'll do a lead vocal here. Again, a completely unprocessed lead vocal. Let's see what we have here. Again, no compression, nothing on this vocal track. Sweet. Daddy D's gonna ring you up. Let's see what we can do here. Daddy D's gonna sit you down. Yeah. Daddy D's gonna ring you up. Uh, 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 yeah. Daddy D's gonna sit you down. And sing it for my baby. Daddy D's gonna ring you up. Ooh, yeah. Daddy D's gonna sit you down, sit you down, yeah. Daddy D's gonna ring you up, uh, 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 yeah. Daddy D's gonna ring you up. This is before. Daddy D's gonna sit you down. After. Daddy D's gonna ring you up, uh, 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 yeah. Daddy D's gonna sit you down and sing it for my baby. Daddy D's gonna ring you up. Before. Ooh, yeah. Daddy D's gonna sit you down, sit you down, yeah. Daddy D's gonna ring you up, uh, 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 
yeah. Wonderful. Opens up the top end a lot. We look, we rolled off some of the real low end. He's got a kind of a, you know, deep chesty voice there. And we took a little bit of mid range out at 700 Hertz. It sounds great. Now, if we were to put these, all these uh, tracks back in here, um, and let's play, let's just do drums. We got bass going on here, but we have, let's see on the bass guitar. Uh, we have nothing going on as far as EQ or compression. We'll turn that off just a raw direct track. So we have drums, bass, uh, guitar, and, um, the vocals. And we'll even throw in the keyboards here, even though the keyboards, uh, again, we'll turn off the compressor. We'll turn everything off on the keyboard. So you're just listening to the raw keyboard track. And then what we'll do now is we'll come back over to the uh, main output and we'll see, we'll, we'll tweak this in now. We'll turn the main output uh, vintage EQ back on. We'll tweak it a little bit now that we've processed the drum bus, the guitar bus and the vocal bus and we'll see how everything gets to sit. And then what I'll do is I will turn all of them off together. So I'll come up here to the top uh, left hand corner of the mixer here, this little power button, I'll switch them on and off so you can hear the accumulative effect of, of all four of the instances of the vintage EQ across all the tracks on or off to hear what a sonic difference it really makes. So first I'm going to tweak in the master uh, bus EQ here again, and then we're going to go up here and we're going to turn all the plugins on and off so you can see the difference or hear the difference. Here we go. <laughs> That's before. Okay, so that's just on the master bus. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn them all off with the click of this button here. All the plugins will be turned on and off. Just keep your eye on the power button here, and um, that'll be it. We'll, we'll listen to what it sounds like when we turn all of the EQs off at the same time and turn them all back on. So here we go. We'll start with them on, then we'll turn them off. So sweet. Daddy gonna ring you up. Daddy gonna send you down. Daddy gonna ring you up. Oh, 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 yeah. Daddy gonna send you down. And there you go. So that is the Vintage EQ from PreSonus, part of the Fat Channel XT. Again, this EQ comes uh, free when you have the Fat Channel. It's not one of the paid EQs uh, in the package, which is great to give it to you for free. Again, it's very British sounding, very Neve-esque uh, sounding. Um, sounds uh, really, really great. Has a lot of character to it and is definitely a different flavor than just the typical old stock EQ. So now you have it in your Studio One bundle here as part of the Fat Channel. And one last thing, if you are, or if you are also an owner, of the Studio Live Series 3 mixers, you have this in your mixer as well. So when you have the Fat Channel um, in Studio One, you can also use it with the mixer. So what's great about that is you can record through these uh, through a vintage EQ during your tracking process in your studio, or if you're going out to a live uh, event, doing a club, church, something like that, you can record your tracks through this as well and put a little flavor on it and kind of commit to the sound as it hits Studio One, which is really great. So you get these plugins in kind of a, a double duty fashion once you're part of the entire pre Sonus ecosystem with the Studio Live Mixer in Studio One, you can use them in both places, which is great. So again, awesome sounding EQ. If you have Studio One, check it out today. Use it on some of your tracks. You can, a little bit of tweaking, you can get something to sound really good very, very quickly. That's it for now. My name's David, HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Again, go out to Home Recording Made Easy and sign up for your five free courses. I really appreciate it and share and like this video. And until the next video, I will see you guys all soon. Take care.